Can you make soap without lye? What is lye? Why is it necessary? Well, these are some of the questions that I hopefully can answer for you by the end of the video. So let's cue the music and let's get right into our video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Natural Soap Man here as always. On this channel, guys, I try to help uh, guys find the perfect bar of all natural soap. I typically do that by posting reviews every Tuesday as well as uh, covering various topics like this. Now, the question is, can we make soap without lye? Now, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm assuming that you're trying to make your own soap or you've seen some things on uh, YouTube or uh, advertising with companies claiming they can make soap without lye and you're just curious, right? Well, my goal here is maybe to put, put some of those misconceptions down by simply answering this question. Now, the answer to this question, guys, is straight up no. It's not possible, not, not by definition nor chemically speaking. What I mean by definition, literally the FDA, literally their definition says that you can't have a true bar of soap without lye. Like it has to be used. So if a company's saying that they're either straight up lying to you or trying to play some semantics so they can get on and out with that. The point is no lie, no soap, straight up. Now the chemical process speaking, uh, if we're talking about the chemical process, we're talking about a process known as salvination, or basically the soap making process, literally what that means. Um, basically you take some oils, some lye, and some liquid, water, or goat's milk, either works. You take these things, throw it in a pot, apply some heat, the, the heat can come internally or externally. Um, both is a different process. If you're talking internally, we're talking about a cold process. And externally, it's a hot process. Either way, heat must be present. Get those three together, bam, you get soap. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, what if, if I don't use lye? Well, now you're just getting a pot with water and oil. And no matter what you do, you can stir it, you can shake it up, you can throw it out, put it back in, flip it upside down, stare at it. It's gonna be water and oil for the rest of time until we present lye. Now, you're probably wondering what is lye? Right, if anyone's wondering, I don't even really know what lie is, that's okay. Uh, I'll put up a little definition here for you that I found on Google that I thought was very straightforward. I think it's one that can help you understand without getting too complicated, right? Uh, basically, just know that lye is a man-made synthetic chemical compound that's very alkaline by nature. They range, they could be weak, they could be very strong. In this case, if we're talking specifically about a bar of soap, you are talking about sodium hydroxide, which has a very high pH, which uh, makes it fairly harmful to to us. Like if it touches your skin, <laughs> it will burn you. It, it, absolutely, uh, it's pretty safe to say that if this stuff gets on your skin, uh, we can chalk that up as a bad day, right? Now you're probably wondering well, why on earth would I want that in my soap, right? Like I don't know if I want that, and that's probably what that could be a reason what's bringing you to this video, which I don't blame you. But let me. Let's take a step back here and understand that the salvation process, fortunately for us, during this process, once the lye interacts with those fatty oils, it's sort of like baking a cake, right? That's the best analogy I've ever heard, right? When you put all your, uh, your chemicals, all your uh, ingredients to make your cake, right? And once you start baking the cake, you can't unbake the cake, right? You can't like go back, you can't like pause it, go back, it's happening. This process is taking place, and on the other side of it, you get a cake. And everything, all the, the, the baking soda, the stuff that was used, gone, and now you're left with a new, a new product, which is now the cake. Same thing, same idea with uh, soap, right? Once you put the lye and the, the fatty oils in the water, and once you put that in the pot, and once you start that process, bada bing, bada boom, right? It's over, like it's, that process is taking place, and it's not going to complete until all the lye has interacted with the fatty oils, leaving you with only soap. So at the end of the process, if we allow it to con complete itself, there will be no more lye. So you don't have to worry about it, right? So a lot of ingredient lists is when they say it has lye, they're telling you what's going into it, not necessarily what's coming out of it. So if that is something you are cautious about or very concerned about, don't worry the lie is gone. So we don't have to worry, thank God, <laughs> right? Like that, whew, that'd, be, that'd be a heck of a shower, right? So by definition and chemically speaking, you can see that lie has to be used in order to make soap. If you don't have lie or if a company's telling you that, you're not dealing with soap anymore, 
which is true. You're not dealing with soap. You're now dealing with a detergent, some type of synthetic detergent, right? Like beauty bars, um, body washes, things like that. Things that don't say soap because it's not a soap anymore, but they'll try to make you believe it's a soap. They're just playing semantics with you. It's not soap anymore. It is man-made synthetic uh, unnatural detergents. So yeah, man, I hope I answered your question. Um, Hopefully I was able to put down a few misconceptions. If you So if you ever see anything like that, or people are telling you one way or another, know that it's about a hogwash and they're just, you know, trying to play some semantics, which are just straight up lying to you, whatever. But now you know better, right? Now for anyone curious, if you're trying to make your own soaps and let's say you have kids, right? And you don't want to deal with lie. You don't want that in the household. That's dangerous. Lie is very dangerous. Totally understand. Well, there is a, a process that I've learned recently called melt and pour, where basically a company will handle that part of the process for you. Like they'll make a pre-batch of soap, right? Where you can now buy it, melt it, add the ingredients you want into the little uh, bad boy, and boom, there you go, right? So that is one way to get around it. Oh, also that brings up, if you, if you get a company that or anyone that claims like that's how like that's how you get around it through men melt and pour like I don't have to use lie. No dumb dumb. The lie that part has already just been done already. The soap doesn't have lie. It has lie. You just don't have to fool with it. So no, come on. Right? Uh, but yeah, that is a one way to get around it for you. So for my families out there, know that you can get around it. Or you just don't want to deal with it because it could be a little scary, it could be a little intimidating. I get it. So know that but there you have it my friends that is the answer to our question hopefully i answered hopefully i made clear some misconceptions know that it is not possible it's straight up straightforward uh not chemically nor by definition but hey check it out guys if you're curious about some other different natural soaps you're in the market you're trying to find the perfect one for you know that i post every tuesday man so go check out those videos and also cover other various topics like this covering anything all natural so hopefully i see you in one of my future videos Either way, my friends, till then, take care of yourselves and stay natural.